Welcome. This is the uh, ten of Tennessee end of course algebra one practice test number two. Question number ten. Uh, the question says the main entrance of a carnival is in the shape of an arch. Here's an arch. It's the worst one drawn ever. It is what it is. The height in feet of the entrance, x feet from the left of the base, is represented by the function below. So what they're saying is this height from this many feet over is represented by the function. So they give you the function. The key component here is they tell you that x is feet. What is the height of the entrance at a distance of 5.5 feet from the left of the end of the base? It's a really long way to go about and a really wordy way to say plug in x, get your answer. So here's my, let me erase this out really quickly. I'm going to write my function down below. h of x is equal to negative 1 fifth x squared plus 3x. All they want you to do is take the x and plug in 5.5. Now if you have a calculator that does fractions, great. For some reason my version of it that I have doesn't do the fraction menu, but the TI-84 usually does have a fraction menu. You go into alpha, hit y equals, and it'll pop up a fraction menu for you. Makes it much easier, but whatever, it's still not that hard. So negative 1 over 5 times 5.5 squared plus 3 times 5.5. I tried to put my x term in parentheses a lot just because if it's negative um, it makes it easier to get the correct answer. For instance, if I have negative x being one of my things and I need to plug in negative 2, well if I just type negative 2 down that would be wrong. It's actually negative negative 2. So it's much easier if you put it in parentheses and makes it look nicer. Anyway, whatever, that's personal preference more than anything else. So when I go ahead and hit enter, and it tells me the height from 5.5 feet would be 10.45, which is A. And that's the correct answer. So really all they're asking you to do is substitute things in. I lost my calculator. I couldn't figure out what happened to it. There it is. Um, so you just plug in your answer into the equation that they give you. If they give you an equation, it's very likely that's what you're going to do, but not always. Just be careful. Um, so you can get the correct answer using that method. Not a big deal. Good luck.